Are you funding enough bad ideas? Because if you want to build a truly innovative organization, then that is exactly what you need to do. You need to allocate resources to implement new, messy, and potentially downright awful ideas. Now, this issue goes way deeper than some kind of innovation fund. That's a tool and potentially a great one, but it's all too often something that we do to look like we're innovating. By itself, it simply doesn't work. And the proof is that most commonly, the innovation strategy for mature organizations is to buy and absorb smaller, more innovative companies. That may be a decent strategy, but it doesn't make you an innovative organization. The reason that innovation funds don't work is because they do little to create the environment and aptitude for innovation. They're an attempt to address an ethos shortcoming with a mechanism, and that simply doesn't work. So how do we address the ethos problem underlying resource allocation? Well, there's two principal areas where this happens, and they will likely surprise you. The first is deployment. 3M famously instituted a deployment strategy for their employees called 15% time, which was where an employee was allowed to spend up to 15% of their time working on solving virtually any problem they wanted to. Sticky notes were one of those inventions, developed when multiple individuals pooled their time and findings to innovate. Carving out time for innovation, exploration, and even sabbaticals is essential. The next is training, and it's so easy to overlook the role of training in creating an innovative organization. Most training programs mistake their primary objective for equipping employees to do more of what they already do and do it better with a side of sensitivity training to keep the organization from being sued, of course. But training should be so much more dynamic. The primary result should be a highly motivated workforce with a strong sense of ownership of their role and the organization's mission and the drive and ability to innovate. Pixar University is an excellent example. Now, you can't innovate simply by throwing money at innovation. You have to first create the ethos of in innovation and then fuel it with cash. These strategies that we've just covered will fuse an ethos of innovation into the very fabric of your organization. And while they're the most important steps, there are a few more strategies that you can use to rapidly accelerate their impact on your organization's ability to innovate like never before. And in the next video in this series, we'll discuss the primary mechanisms that you need to harness and scale that ethos of innovation.